Well, we had a ton of fun hanging out with Jeff and Hannah again. We really want to thank them for taking us down there and showing us how to go bow fishing for stingrays. Get out there and try it sometime. If you've never tried bow fishing, it's a lot of fun and it's great practice really for the off season. Now there's a pretty common misconception from people that you can't eat stingray, that we're just killing them for sport. It's actually completely false. They're really good to eat. It's kind of similar to catfish, but with a different texture. Tastes really great. Now there's one recipe that Jeff and Hannah taught us, super simple. It's a great camp recipe and this is good for all kinds of fish, but we're gonna show you how to use this with stingray. And it really does not take much time at all. Super simple, easy ingredients. All you need is your oil to cook it in. You can use canola oil, vegetable oil, something like that. Frank's Red Hot Sauce or some type of cayenne pepper sauce, Louisiana, whatever type you prefer. A little bit of straight white flour and then salt and pepper. It's as easy as that. So the first step you want to do is cut the stingray pieces up into little bite-sized pieces. You're kind of making nuggets with these. Then you want to go ahead and pour some Frank's Red Hot Sauce into the bowl. The amount that you're going to use kind of depends on how much fish you're actually cooking. In this case, we're just doing a small portion, so I'm going to put about a quarter cup in. If you're serving maybe four people, you might have to use the entire bottle. It just depends on how much fish you're trying to use. As you start to mix it up, you're going to notice that the Frank's Red Hot Sauce is going to start to lose its red color and it's going to go to kind of a pink color. At that point, it's ready to go. You don't need to marinate it for a long time. Just go ahead and put it straight into the flour. Shake it up really good, get it nice and coated. To make sure the oil's ready, all you have to do is take a little pinch of flour and sprinkle it on top. If it sizzles right away, then you know it's ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and put the stingray in, just a few pieces at a time. Make sure you don't overload it because you want it to be able to cook real evenly on all sides. Okay, so just let it cook for about two or three minutes in the oil. Go ahead and flip sides, let it cook for about another minute more. Once it's golden brown, it should be ready to go. Go ahead and pull it out, drain it for just a little bit on a paper towel to get some of that extra oil off there. While it's cooling down, go ahead and sprinkle some salt and pepper on it, and it's ready to go. It's as simple as that. So that's Jeff and Hannah's recipe for cooking the catfish and stingray. Really easy, great tasting, and it's not as spicy as you'd think. That Frank's Red Hot really just gives it a little bit of a zip and really makes the flavor jump out at you.